All right, Sammy, what are we doing here? Well, we're unboxing the everything we got for Holly. What's this for? This is uh, the shower. shower head. And why do we want this shower head? So this one has more settings. Oh. And it has this. Do you know what this is? No. It's a shut off. Shut off. So you can So you can get you get the water going, you get it the temperature you want. You get yourself all wet and you shut it off. So you're not wasting water while you're getting soap on your body. And when you're done getting soap on your body, you turn it back on and rinse off. These are for the water connection. This is a water regulator. And you wanna make sure they're lead free because you wanna drink out of these. This keeps your water pressure from getting above 50 PSI so that you don't burst your pipes. I think it, these two connect. Nope. This connects to the RV so that you're not kinking your hose hanging off the side of your RV. Especially because we're gonna attach one of these to it. They're filters. Yeah. So the water coming into the RV will be filtered. And this is a two pack. I bought these on Amazon. We'll put some links below. You can check them out for yourself if you'd like. Plus, if you use our affiliate links, we get a little revenue. It helps us out. Here's the hose. This is a drinking water hose. This is easy. It's twisting around. This one's kind of hard. Got it. Whee! There it goes. So this will connect to the pressure regulator and that will connect to the water filter and then the water filter will connect to the elbow and the elbow will connect to the RV. And this color is important too because it indicates that it is a drinking water hose and not a black water hose, not a cleaning hose. We want to keep it clean just for drinking out of it. It's called keeping your water potable. Now we can go to the yucky stuff. Sewer. The sewer. Ew. This helps make sure Ooh, this is heavy. the hose goes downhill all the way so you can pop this off and then these extend out and you just set it up however you need to based on how the lay of the land is and how far away your sewer drain hookup is and then it's a nice handle to carry it with. Yeah, the next thing is the actual hose itself. Okay, the whole hose itself is kind of big, it's black. Here it extends out. And then squeeze it in. Clear end on it so you can make sure that what's coming out is clean. So you know when your tank is actually clean. And then this connects to your RV. So you can swivel it and then lock it in place. If you need extra length, there's an extra length of hose. Some caps to cap them off. And this is to treat it. I'm not sure if this is the best stuff to use. What we were told to use was something that has enzymes in it. And I don't see enzymes in this. This is for the electrical, because the last thing you want is a spike to ruin all your electrical stuff in your RV. It has multiple indicators on it, so you know the wiring is correct, or you have an open ground, or reverse polarity, or an open hot, or no power. It basically analyzes your circuit and makes sure that it's working properly. It also has surge protection on it. So something we haven't gotten yet is a 30 amp to 50 amp adapter. Our RV is 30 amp. This is a 30 amp, but if we have to plug into 50 amp, we have to get an adapter, but we're not going anywhere yet that will require that, but we will get one of those eventually. These are blocks. 10, six, or three block configuration. These, we have leveling jacks on our RV, but if we're on like loose dirt or something, we don't want the leveling jacks to sink into the dirt. So you put these under it, it helps prevent it from sinking down into the loose dirt. But if you don't have leveling jacks, it can help you level up. Can I get out the first one? Yeah. This will be three. Yeah, and you can just stack them up from there. Yeah. We all have allergies and my wife is very sensitive to smell. And a new RV is very smelly. So it comes with a nice round filter. Here's the manual that tells us how to use it. Nice, small, and compact for a nice, small, compact area. So our Instapot is still on order. All of our cooking stuff is probably not gonna work. 
toilet paper that is septic safe, which means no dyes, perfumes, extra chemicals, and things like that. No. This is actually my favorite brand of toilet paper. Strong, soft, and septic safe. Who would have thought? This is Myers Clean Day. Aroma therapeutic household products. I think my wife might do a blog post on her blog about this clean stuff. She's got a okay. detox your family website. I'll put a link up here and down in the description. You can uh, go check out her Okay, website. so this is probably to refill and this is the spray bottle. Dish soap and surface cleaner. Oh, okay. Non-scratch scrubbing pads. Nitrile gloves. These are great, if especially if you have like latex allergies or something. We don't have a dishwasher in the RV. We gotta have a drying rack. Wash them in the sink and put them on the drying rack. Let's see if this opens up. Oh. Ta-da! And close up and shove it under the couch or something. A drying pad soaks up the water so it doesn't get all over everything. I think I heard that Santa might be bringing us some more stuff for Christmas. Yeah! So we'll have to wait and see what else Holly gets for Christmas and we get for Christmas so that we'll be ready come the middle of January to be living in an RV full time. And remember, have fun out there. Why else would you go on an adventure other than to have fun? Okay, what can we do now? How dare you get me in Oh no, I got you on the camera. <laughs> Oh no, it's too big. Hi. Can you put that down, please? Okay. That is our clean water pose. We don't want it to be dirty. Oh yeah. Let's do this. I knew I could do that. We want one that we can uh, move around. We can move the other one around. I, then I don't know. Bye bye trash. Yes. Microphone goes boom. Mic drop. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is the electricity. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, get this out of the way. This has multiple indicators on it. You done moving it around? Yeah. Ooh, more stuff. Ooh. This is our drying rack. Wait, how do you use this? Cleaning supplies. Woohoo! Yay, mommy. So I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, I have some cardboard in the way. Cardboard coming through, cardboard. You know they can't see your face when you're standing up there, right? I don't want my face to be seen. Does this open up or does it just lay down? It lays down. Okay, we need the knife to cut this open. It locks. Ten, nine, or six. Okay, so this is a... Uh, Do not eat. Do not eat. Do not eat. Do not eat. I think my favorite thing is um, this. The oh, it's got some tape on it. Oh, right there. Put the knife away in the wrong time. You have to put tape on it? No. It, it came with tape on it. So these are my three favorite things. Wow! Sorry. These are my three favorite things. Yeah. Spray, spray. <laughs> We're pretending that it's like a baby shower thing, but it's, it's yeah. a baby shower, right? Yeah, kind of. Because. Because. Holly is brand new. Yeah. Like a baby. <laughs> if you're year 50, a tabletop air. What do you guys think? Awesome! Horrible. Oh.
Do you think living in an RV is going to be horrible? Yes. Why? I just think it is. How's that song go? When the dog barks, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. I simply remember my favorite things <laughs> and then I don't feel so bad.